Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 73 of RimWorld. <laughs> we got one more mod to add. <laughs> I was still looking for something to remove the more advanced weapons uh, from the game for my next, uh, from my rancher type thing that I'm going to be doing. Not having any luck in finding that. But I did run across something interesting. You know how I've been constantly saying, Why the heck is this guy dead? Well, what? What? you know, like if they have like bruises on their arms and legs, and like, what oh, the hell? Dead. Why is this Damn. guy dead? None of these wounds are fatal. Well, apparently, for some Wait, 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 hold on. I just got my headphones, I can barely hear you. My headphones are wrapped up in one of my computer cords. <laughs> And in their own parts. Come on. Tangled cords, yes, I have that issue all the time. Come on, move that cord back. Considering this setup, since I got an Ethernet cord plugged into the laptop, I got the power cord since it won't run off the battery. I got the microphone cord plugged into the desktop and kind of twisted around oh, here so I can put it in front of me. I got the mouse cord plugged into the laptop. <laughs> I just got cords running everywhere with this uh, stupid setup. Uh, at least I don't have a keyboard cord to deal with as well. <laughs> but in any case, like I was saying, so... The reason I've been so damn confused about why everybody seems to be dying when... When uh, they don't have anywhere near fatal injuries... Is... Uh, for some reason that nobody can really figure out... In the code of the game is a line where any time a non-PC player uh, mini goes down, like if they're unconscious because of pain or just uh, lost a leg or something, there is a 67% chance that the game will flag them as dead. <laughs> so all you have to do is knock them down and there is a two-thirds chance that they yeah. will die. So, this gets rid of that stupid junk. The only time people will die is if they actually have fatal injuries. At least, at least it's only uh, people who aren't in the tribe. Otherwise, some of your tribe people would have died way too easily. Yeah, at least there's that. But why the heck would they put something like that in there? That's just stupid. My thought is that they're expecting it to be a case of well, I'm just going to kill them anyway. Once they're down, I'll just have my people kill them, and so this just saves time, because... Well, if some enemy raiders go down in a fight, most people would probably just want to kill them. Well, that might be the case, and if, if people are like that, there should just be an option for that. Uh, in the options menu, it's like, kill all downed enemies. No problem. Or something like that. But for me, for my line of thinking, it makes absolutely no sense for people to just die from bruises and stuff that aren't fatal injuries. So, that should be fixed now. And it doesn't break saves, so let's play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I added one mod, so what? <laughs> doesn't do anything but remove one single hold. <laughs> light of text from the code. Found a few more interesting ones for my rancher thing. One for barbed wire and one for an electric fence. really, really want to do this. I also found a really, really neat sounding one that I kind of want to try. Not in the Rancher game, though, since I want to set that up very carefully. But in the standard scenario of the game that we read, the crash landed thing, where you're three survivors mm -hmm. that are from a crash spaceship, mm -hmm. there's a mod that makes a hell of a lot more sense than just uh, three people landing nicely and going about their business. We actually have a crashing spaceship <laughs> that just causes the, this constantly rains down flaming debris and cargo containers and cry crypto sleep pods and you name it. <laughs> Not 
not at all guaranteed that anybody's going to survive <laughs> said crashing, though. <laughs> I actually watched a couple videos with a bit in action, and uh, it was really, really awesome, and much it makes much more sense. <laughs> couple of the videos uh, just didn't have anybody survive and, and uh, yeah, one, one, one of them ended up with like 20 people most, most of them critically injured but uh, hey, the good doctor we that have they lucked out with <laughs> I wouldn't want 20 people but it still sounds like fun I might just play like a bonus uh, episode with that scenario that I'm not gonna run completely through just play a couple days in it Let's see how it goes Ooh, one so extended, extended episode, episode. Be next. that was the thing that I was actually doing back when I did uh, uh, let's plays regularly, regularly. I would play through an entire game, game then I would have this other game, game that it plays one, one episode of between, between the, the other games, games. Yeah, I might so I play like 50 episodes, episodes of this complete the storyline one 15 minute episode of this then go on to the next one actually do that. That sounds fun. Any case, where were we at you on know, this? We have... Man is sowing hops. <sighs> Her bitch is sowing strawberries. Teresa is fishing. And Princess is hauling stuff around like she's supposed to. Awesome. The other colony. Kamba is eating. Lawson is fishing. Stella is on the road, headed for a trade rendezvous of all the smoke leaf. And once she delivers that, she's actually going to go join her boyfriend. <laughs> and I'm going to send Lawson back to the main base. Or maybe keep her there for a while. I'm not exactly certain. I do have seven now. So three at one base and four at the other. Might be a pretty good split. <laughs> Especially since I want to send uh, Kamba around to check some surrounding tiles for mining purposes. In any case, so uh, let's let her play. Do we have anything assigned to be done? Or are we just kind of letting them do their thing now? We got the traps rearmed. Our turrets seem to be working pretty well there. Tattered <laughs> apparel carpet. Um, all oh right, your armor. We got mending bench ready, didn't we? Yeah, we got the electric tailor bench in. Did we get any of those things made? We have not. Not. Who is making those? Uh, let's see. Crafting is Herpich's job. What is Herpich doing? Hauling. Why is he hauling instead of crafting? Hauling comes after crafting. Do we not have materials? Need 45 steel and 30 cloth. Well, I'm sure we got enough cloth, but do we have enough steel? Here. We have 65 steel, so do we not have enough cloth? Hmm. 
Yeah, we got enough cloth. Okay, so yeah, why isn't that. this being done? Garbage hauling. Why Wait, what did you say? This? Need materials. What? Forty-five and thirty. Crafting four. Steel. So we definitely got more than thirty cloth. We've got more than forty-five steel. Why do we need materials? Did I set an ingredient radius? I did set an ingredient radius, but it's probably too small. Let's increase that. Hopefully that covers the stockpile out here. Now, watching television. on those mending kits. Hauling alpaca. Why? Need materials. Is that not big enough still? No? Or, well, covers half the stock. Is there no steel in the half that it's covering? Yep, the steel is out of range. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course. That just kind of has to happen, you know, as it is. Kids. 
seven mending kits. Uh, wow. Uh, right, so you want to run out and get those for me. Wow. <laughs> that is really... Like, I just figured out what was wrong with building mine. I'm gonna make five at a time, okay? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to run out for quite some time. Although that is nice, that just saved me one heck of a lot of resources. Gave me 27 of them, and each one is 45 steel. That's like almost a thousand steel saved. I'm like never going to need to make those things again. Oh, we got some more art here. No, that's the telescope. That's a table. Oh yeah, I just uninstalled all this stuff. I figure it's sellable. A bit of jade there. Jade is nice. Jade is cute. Can make three sculptures with that much. If whoever's doing yes. that ever gets decently skilled at it. Make three sculptures. No, not with a. F ah, dang it, she doesn't, she doesn't even have any flame for it. Flame? I need, I need, a, better, right. I need a better artist. Training, I think. How's the training going? Two more trains. Trained in obedience. Some. Uh, we got more crap laying out here that's been harvested from things. No. Nope. For once, we've actually got it all cleaned up. 42%. 42%. Milk the cow. Does that? That's Teresa's thing. Oh, the princess can do it too. Her bitch. You don't have any passion for it, so let's just leave it to the girls. They will improve faster. Looks like she's did that right there. Go train the wild boar, okay? Princess, what are you up to? Cleaning sand? How about you come grab the milk? Got our rice in. Got another harvest devil strand. Start making devil strand stuff. That is her bitches thing, alright? Warden. And then the crafting stuff, yeah. That's pretty much what I want him doing, so. It's your skill of it. Six. Hmm. Let's have you make other stuff before around with my devil strand. We have tons of alpaca wool. Let's go ahead and make stuff out of that. Looks like we need some more cowboy hats for the girls. Cowgirl hats. <laughs>
one set up, so I don't need to set a minimum skill, and we need three more of them for our three girls. After those are done, then we can make some dusters. I guess because I hands asleep. I really wish I could uh, tell him a quantity for storage. Uh, I keep thinking I should look for a mod for that, but <laughs> I keep forgetting. So it'd be nice to just tell him I want four fine meals here. And then I can set up more fine meals to just be put. I, actually, there is a take two option, isn't there? Until you have X, take the best stockpile or drop on floor. No, that really wouldn't help. Because if it was dropped on floor, then my haulers would just take it in there anyway. There's not a radius to set for how far to go to find a stockpile, either. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can do that. Uh, just keep four in here and then have another set in here. Even in here. in here in a cabinet. I 
this princess was wants to drink some milk for breakfast. All 15 of it? Really? Wow. What about got milk? Whatever. Wait, Herpage? Are you eating raw meat? Yes, you are! No? Alright, cook. have a simple meal still set, don't we? Or is that still set for six as well? Five. Or bet your cooking isn't five, is it? Princess is. Let her, let her finish her meat, her milk, then she can cook some. Got a little bit of fuel. It's still got plenty of fuel, actually. Why is he? Re Why am I refilling it? Stop. Let her cook. <laughs> Cat's gonna eat off the table. <laughs> oh, because we have no corpses for the cat. We need to hunt another. Uh, Another boom alone. Let Princess continue to cook a little bit. No, oh, Trace is our hunter. Is asleep. Did we not get the other one? say deteriorating due to being on the roof. Maybe they still don't deteriorate. Hmm. She'll get it when she's ready for it then. Wait a minute. Mail. Didn't, I need, a, didn't I need a mail boar? Or oh. less. No. <laughs> or or less. No, I have I have a mail boar. What was it a mail I needed? Oh, it was a cassowary on the other map. Okay, so yeah, hunt the boar. Taken in for animals, because I'm pretty sure that I had this set up to not butcher boars. No boomalopes and no boars, yep. Okay, how many meals have you cooked? Six of them? Alright, that's good. We can clear the prioritize. You can go do other stuff. Take that meal with you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Better leaving it there on the floor. How you doing, Herpage? You are... 2.3. That's nice. Ian's got a meal. Lawson, what are you up to? Hauling the gold. Okay. Where are you at, Sella? It's passing there. 5.2 days. Rod in 1.4. Hope you'd eat the meal that you got in your inventory first. I don't know, they don't wanna. Sure, 
this thing faster to go cross country than to follow the road, huh? I was kind of thinking about stopping there. Yeah, I think I am. Or wait. How much time? 10.3 days left. Destination 6.6. Okay, yeah, we can take a little right. detour. Yeah, Is it here? Almost four. And lost and tamed an alpaca! Nice! Alright, is that the male that we will? Nope, she's got another female. <laughs> I mean, like, alpacas are just flat out useful as they are. Yeah, they are. Between the wool and uh, their ability to carry stuff. But God, look at all the boomalopes here, eating my cotton. Oh well. <laughs> Got plenty of it. I am not going to try to hunt boomalopes on this map. <laughs> oh, we got a dead boar here. that get it in and butchered immediately. Oh, we ain't got enough room, do we? <laughs> no, we kinda don't. One is a smokehouse one, so I can smoke meat. I actually wonder if that's a save breaker. Didn't say whether it was or not. Uh, I don't imagine it would be. be kind of nice to use here. I can smoke all this. <laughs> Chicken egg? 
Oh, it's on the hay. <laughs> yeah. It's on the hay there. That's why. I have no idea where we got Boomalo meat that's spoilable. We should not have meat anywhere but in our fri freezers. I'm at a loss to that. Oh, maybe that's what Sella was carrying. Well, just run 1.2. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, I was about to put down another animal spot since we got six animals now. here. Got the Panzer, Cassowary, three alpacas. No. Oh, wild boar. Is that you? Yep. No. That's about you. Yep. That one. Male wild boar. Male wild boar. Do we have a female wild boar around? Male wild boar. There we go. Tame that. that one too. <laughs> Three females. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like we got a lack of ability to raise animals on this map. <laughs> Literally cannot keep the grass off of stuff. It's because it's this little curl, the homicidal squirrel. <laughs> what are you doing, squirrel? Mainly attacking princess. What does princess have? She has a shotgun. Yeah, good luck with that, squirrel. Now that they're not fleeing from everything! Yep, 
Okay. You ran into the wrong place, Mr. Squirrel! <laughs> you know, squirrel is you. Oh my god, squirrel. It's always, it's always fun, fun to check out the health of things. things. What? It's always fun to check out the health of things after something like that happens. Uh oh. Alright, after he puts it in there, I'll take a look. And it's cooking. One. Eleven damage to a ten health creature. Yep. <laughs> How about giving a hundred and ten percent? I really wish I had a way to make fine meals go into two different places. Actually, maybe I can. That would take up so many. Because if I set things at same priority, I'm pretty sure they'd take it to the closest one first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, then, the but then none would get taken down here until the closest one is full. And with my increased stack size things, that means I'd need to have 40 of them in it. Which I guess isn't a huge deal. Yeah, actually it is, because as soon as one gets taken, then it'll be on pause, so no more will get made until the stack's empty, and yeah, it's a big deal. Really just need to assign a number to keep in one place. Close are you to be able to make the luxurious meals? I have two different styles of meals. <laughs> we are cooking ten. What does it take for those things? Lavish, not luxurious. It takes cooking ten. Wow, you can make them. Nice. done with simple meals then. Simple meal is gone. Make a fine meals for prisoners and the lab well no, let's do it the other way around. Us have the fine meals and the prisoner can have the lavish meal. So let's change this.
cabinet for them. Prisoner, then I'll uh, change the colonist meals to the lavish ones and suspend the fine meals. And we're getting on things. Chub to combat plant. Awesome. saying that, we do have a fire extinguisher. You said the fire extinguisher actually does deal damage? Supposedly? Come back, grab this thing. Let's give this a try. I mean, like, it looked like it was hurting them. Find out. Uh, we're gonna hunt the boobalo with a fire extinguisher. What you need to make? Uh, I wonder if it counts as range. Sure, I guess. Careful for the explosions. Use the fire extinguisher to cut it out. Up. 
fish. Teresa likes fishing. How are you getting along, Zella? Very, very, very slowly. All right, tattler to paler. Okay, uh, no, Herbage is asleep. But he wakes up. It's already been refilled. Now we can mend some more complex. I imagine armor is probably complex. Crafting eight. Okay. Nobody can do that. What is your crafting, Herbitch? Crafting is six. So it won't be too terribly long. What about the simple ones? Do they require eight as well? No. What is a simple one considered? Dusters, jackets, pants, parkas, shield belt, travel wear t shirt. Okay. So, oh, we got enough mending kits, let's just mend everything. It'll sell better if it's full. <laughs> so let's just set the radius and do it forever. Stuff to man it and fix it. Same with weapons. Sure. Covers the stock. 60 covers the stockpile out there. And all the weapons. I understand, I understand it. it. These all are tailor, right? No crafting. What? This should be tailoring. It's at the tailor bench. Crafting. Done with the cowboy hats already? Yep, yeah, everybody's Maybe. wearing them. Wow. I actually probably got a couple extras floating around. Pack a wool shoddy. One extra. What's this? Oh, yeah, the mending kit. when she gets here. And her bitch is working on a duster. Eh. I guess that's raising his craft skill anyway. Doesn't really matter what he works on, he just needs to get his craft up to eight so he can fix his armor. I'll get there. Got joy gain for it. Okay, uh, Lawson's up. She's fishing. Alright. Uh, you are 
harvesting cotton. Oh god, all the alpacas are right here in my base. They're not alpacas. Boomalopes. Which actually too terribly bad? No, not really. I've got it all concreted there. The sandbags don't burn. The only thing in danger is the turret, but I could just move it. Let's just go ahead and move the turret for the moment. Oh, you want to move that turret for me, please? somewhere out of that. Am I using the snake food zone inside? That works. All animals inside. I want to attack the ones that are on there. Alright, Kamba, you just stand by right there with your fire extinguisher. Maybe a little bit further back. Lawson. Wow, you can hit it from the dock. <laughs> Damn, there's the rage on this thing. Get it. You have to do it manually. That's the only thing that's kind of annoying about it. Over here, get it out of my crops. Oh god, set my corn on fire there, too. Okay. Oh, Lawson, you can go do your thing. It's Kamba sleeping time. Mm -hmm. So I should probably exchange firefighting duties. Come up here. I'm gonna give you the 
fire extinguisher. The comico gets to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, this must be a glitch with the fire extinguisher. Lost huh? actually not supposed to be able to firefight. Oh, okay, oh, okay. But, but using, using the, the fire, fire extinguisher, extinguisher, I guess, I guess doesn't, doesn't count. count. I guess not. That's it. It's, it's programmed as a weapon. This whole place is a giant fire hazard. I think once you're done here, you'll be able to end the episode. <laughs> right, just try putting out that little fire just to the right. Well, that's I want uh, another burning boom a lope. Oh, gosh, those things! You find a way to kill them, like, away from everything. Well, I have no way of hurting them, so that's not happening. I just had to kill them here. Put out all the fire. Maybe I should have waited until it was raining. <laughs> it rains pretty often here. Yet. Nothing five hours. Ow! Ow? That was not five hours! I guess, I guess being, being on, on fire, fire made it die a bit faster than the blood loss. I'm gonna get up and put out Lawson. No. 
Let's try to watch and shoot the fire extinguisher right next to her. So I can't! She's uncontrolled when she's running around in a panic. What if you unjack Stomper? Can you have him put out the fire then? more effective than punching it, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially considering it covers a big square. Inferno. Next time I have a boomalo problem, I'm definitely waiting till it's raining. Yes, that yes, is a good, good idea. idea. I have a feeling that the Rancher game is going to include plenty of walled off uh, farms. Unless you found a mod that makes fences. I don't remember you talking about one. Yes, I've got one that makes fences. I've got a couple that makes fences. I've got one that makes normal fences and some more types of floors. 
one that makes barbed wire fences, and one that makes electric fences. <laughs> so yeah, so I've got I'll have fences. Get a redirect. Game. No, no joke. joke. Fire is no joke in this game. Well, fire, fire itself, itself isn't, isn't a joke. joke. And again, this game also gives you creatures that explode, which. This fire doesn't designate itself as an enemy. Yeah. It is much easier to push back with this extinguisher, though, that's for sure. Oh, 
passing of this. You're breaking up too. You're breaking up too bad. I can't, I can't understand you. I can't understand you. You are totally breaking up. What part is that of her? Right leg. Fuck that. Body part. Lawson. Right. Leg. Leg, 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 leg. Right leg. Alright. Go on your way. Infected burn. What kind of bullshit is that? Also my fishing dock. Oh my god. Never again if it ain't raining. It rains like 90% of the time here. Bird. I do 
not know why animals will not run away from fire in this game. Burn up the beavers. And I appear to have lost the Skype call. Is basically dead. Is it dead battery? No, I mean the internet. It will not connect to the internet and hasn't been able to connect. Barely connect to the internet for like two weeks or something ever since we got the router switch. Um, not for two weeks. You haven't had a problem before when we've been recording. I've been having problems. But for some reason, my computer just likes to do this thing. It's like, eh, I don't want to connect to the internet. Oh, for seems... frick's sakes! Will it not stay out of my cotton? By the way, it is possible for a burn to get infected. In fact, it is very likely for a burn to become infected. No, it isn't. I have gotten lots of burns! Yeah, did you clean them? Because if you clean them, they might not get infected. In fact, if you clean them, they shouldn't get infected. The first thing you're supposed to do when you get a burn is to clean it. No, just slap some ice on it. Yeah, that's what I did. I looked up uh, things about this. Um, I'm trying to figure out the temperature of cauterization. Temperature goes from about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and up. That doesn't sound like your average fire. Regardless, burns, I looked up and like what I was able to find with my failing internet said burns can and do become infected. Oh, I guess Not always, but it is a real thing that burns can become infected. Huh. I didn't think it was. Uh, so I guess that wasn't really a valid use of the console then. Uh, Pretty much. They are an injury, and if they're bad enough, they are open and exposed to the air. So maybe at the very millisecond it happens, it wouldn't be. But then once the heat goes away and you're left with just the injury, 
it's a somewhat open spot on the skin. Those can become infected. If you aren't careful. Oh, finally it starts raining! Yeah, it took long enough. Alright, Kamba, you're done. Rain will take care of the rest. Go cook. Actually, go tend Lawson. Holy crap! Had plenty enough fun, did you? And we have a caravan meeting. Anything of interest? Let's see. Get rid of the steel club, or sandstone club, the short bow. That's all they want to buy. Okay. Anything they got to sell of interest? Not particularly. Ooh, superior shield belt. <laughs> yeah, like I brought enough money for that. <laughs> oh, so she's neutral on uh, negotiator, so I'm not getting a bonus or taking a loss. Eh, that's all right. Dang, I'd like to have that though. By the way, screen share isn't on. What? Since the call ended and restarted, screen share isn't on. By the way, did you end the episode at all? No, I was fighting fires. Yeah. yeah, the episode was like four minutes past the hour when he started fighting the fire. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll call it good for there then. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry about using the dev thing for that. I honestly did not think the burns could get infected because I've had plenty of them over my life. <laughs> um, well, it's open skin. I mean, it's not like it stays at 500 degrees Fahrenheit constantly. doesn't need to. Exactly, but to be constantly, constantly cauterized, that would have to happen. No. In order, you, you, in order to prevent to, germs to cauter, from getting in, it would have to To cauterize a wound, happen. you do it one time for like, for, for like, thir like 15 seconds. That's all it takes. Except, with a burn injury, after the after the heat goes away, and you're just left with an open wound in your flesh, that's when it gets infected. That's like saying if someone gets their skin cauterized, well, they're infected again, which isn't true. If you cauterize a part of flesh, well, once once all the scar once all the scar tissue heals up, then yeah, it's then the cauterization is gone. Cauterization causes the, the scar it, tissue, it which like seals that. the wounds. That's the entire except point of a, cauterizing. Except, except in, in a burn, burn it's, it's opening, opening wounds. That doesn't make any sense to me, but... In any case, thank you, know, you all for watching, and have a good one. Just,